Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to see various type of chips formed in metal cutting process. Let's see the chip formation once again. Chips are formed due to the plastic deformation mechanism. Searing takes place when the crystal of metal elongate through an action of slipping at the crystals and between the adjacent crystals. You may have a question why we are studying chip formation, chip thickness ratio, etc. etc. The answer is the formation of chips have a great influence in the following parameters. Number one, surface finish of the workpiece. Number two, cutting force. Depends upon the chips, the producer surface finish will vary. Number two, cutting force. The flow of chips affect the cutting forces in the machining process. Number three, temperature. 80% of heat will be carried away from the workpiece by the chips only. Tool life. The flow of chip affect the tool life because it rubs on the rake surface of the tool. And number five, dimensional accuracy of the produced component. These are the various conditions for a particular type chip. Number one, type of cut. It means whether we are doing a continuous type of cutting process or an intermediate type. In turning, boring, it is a continuous type of cutting process. In milling process, it is an intermediate cut. The next one is work material. Either it is a ductile material or it is a brittle material. The next important thing is cutting tool geometry. Depends upon the geometry, the formation of chip will vary. Next one is cutting velocity and feed. The last one is cutting fluids. These are the various type of chips. Discontinuous chip, continuous chip, continuous chip with build up edge and serrated chips. Number one, discontinuous chip. It forms in the brittle material that is cast iron. As also, if we are having a poor cutting conditions, mean in ductile materials also, we will get a discontinuous type chips that is very low cutting speeds, large feed and depth of cut. Sometimes there will sometimes there will be a high tool chip friction. That is also a important reason for discontinuous type chips. Disadvantages it will produce a poor surface finish. The formation of discontinuous chips will be look like this. Next continuous chips. In most of the ductile material, a continuous ribbon type chips are produced. It generally suffers compression and sear. The material then slides over the tool rake face for some distance and then leaves the tool. We will get a continuous type of chips in the following parameters. By machining a mild steel, copper, by using a fine by using a fine feed high cutting speed large rake angle by using a proper lubrication systems it will produce a better surface finish the disadvantages disposal of continuous type of chips is very difficult sometimes it may spoil the produced work surface or the tool post so we have to use the chip breakers. Next one is continuous chips with build up edge. It is also mostly formed in ductile materials at a low to medium cutting speed. The friction, the friction between tool and chip will causes portion of a chip 
to adhere to rake phase that is a micro level welding at the tool chip interface in this animation you can able to see that one clearly due to this micro level welding it will reduce the tool life also it will spoil the surface finish of the workpiece it can be eliminated by increasing the rake angle decrease the depth of cut by using a proper cutting fluids and the last one is serrated chips this type of chips are semi continuous it will look like a sawtooth appearance it is a segmented type chips metals with low thermal conductivity and strength that decreases sharply with temperature example titanium that exhibit this behavior serrated serrated chips forms with alternating high shear strain then low shear strain that is shown in the figure for watching if you like the video means kindly share and subscribe